Now that you understand custom blocks, let's create a custom block type, which we can use as a call to action or CTA for short. This block type will have just two fields, an image and body field. So to create the block type, just click on block types and then click on add custom block type. Enter in call to action into the label and then, then in description enter in used for CTAs and then click on save. Click on manage fields. Earlier I mentioned that this block type will have two fields. Well, the body field has already been created for us. So all we need to do is add an image field. So to create an image field, just click on add field and then select image and enter in image into the label and leave everything as is and then click on save field settings. Leave this form as is and click on save settings. Now click on manage form display and what we'll do is move image above body and then click on save. This will just reorder the custom block form and then click on manage display and move body so that it's below image and let's also hide the image label and let's just make one change to the image formatter. Click on the cogwheel and we'll select the large image style and then click on update and then click on save. Now that we have our CTA block type, let's create an actual call to action. So go to custom block library and click on add custom block and click on call to action Enter in a block description. For this example, I'll enter in Drupal 8 CTA and I'll upload an image. I'll put in the Drupal icon and I'll enter in some text into the body field and then click on save. Now let's add this CTA to the sidebar on the left. So click on block layout and scroll down until you find sidebar first, click on place block. And here's our Drupal 8 CTA, click on place block. And uncheck display title and click on save block. Reorder it so it's above the search form and then don't forget to scroll down and click on save blocks. Now, if we go to the home page, we should see it on the left. There you go. And again, if you want to modify the text or upload a different image, just hover over this contextual link and click on edit. And then you can easily edit this call to action.